Forensics detectors, I'm Dr. Cousin. Today we're talking about ozone measurements, folks. Before I start, let's look at the products that we offer to take care of the job. Industrial ozone detectors. We have handheld FD90, our most popular FD90A. And they also come with pumps to measure ozone in different applications. Folks, ozone equals elusive. Ozone equals difficulty. If it's the one question I receive the most is, Dr. Cuz, how come I'm not getting consistent results when I'm undertaking my ozone measurements? And I tell folks, because the ozone gas is the most difficult gas one can measure. Urgh. It is hard, why? It's unstable, it's reactive. It shouldn't even exist unless we make it. Folks, just to complicate the situation and add extra dimensionality, it's a function of humidity temperature and air velocity. These are the three key environmental parameters. So as humidity increases, the half-life of ozone decreases. If temperature increases, the half-life of ozone decreases. If the airspeed turbulence effects increases, the half-life of ozone decreases. Other things to think about. Ozone has a molecular weight of 48 grams per mole. Compared to air, which is about 28 grams per mole, ozone tends to come down, thank you, to Mr. Gravity. So, take a measurement up, take a measurement down, I guarantee it's gonna be different. Not to mention, Mr. Time. Since we have a half-life with time, the ozone concentration is changing, it's decreasing, it's going down. The rate of decrease is a function of the three parameters I just talked about. So, even if I take a point A sample, a point B sample, over that period of time, it's gonna be different and it's gonna be a function of the three key parameters. So let's recap, folks. There are five key aspects to it. Turbulence effects, humidity, temperature, the z-axis, up or down, and the drop, remember? So depending on where we are taking a measurement, it's gonna be different based on the z-axis. And time. Time is an important aspect. If you give it a few minutes, it could be everything. It could be a big, big difference. Another data point, folks, four ppm, I plug up a pump, 0.5 ppm. That could be a real situation that you have to think about. So I suggest keep the tubing as short as possible. Calibrate your detector based on a static measurement. Be smart, we are here to help you converge to a reasonable amount of ozone understanding. Have a great day and see you soon.